Right, so I'm back a bit later now. I plan. My plan was to start this vlog already earlier this morning, but um, just the way the time schedule worked, it didn't work out. So it's now half ten, and I'm finally back, back to the garage. And we got a job on today. This is probably the biggest job we've had all week. Not in terms of like importance, or in terms of work, or in terms of, but vehicle-wise, this is probably the biggest job we've had in all week. So what this big daft is in for, it is in for, um, basically it was bought out of England, I think it's even on, still on English plates, it was bought out of England a couple of weeks ago and the customer's fleet of trucks are black as well, so it's a handy job, but it had a sticker on it, so you can see perfectly in the truck where the sticker was, and then how the rest of the truck has been brush washed over the last couple of years, and how the rest of the truck is now faded. So we're here now to remove all those marks and get it back to uniform colour and get the glass levels back up so that you wouldn't really realise that that sticker was there beforehand. And we're going to show you the difference between brush washing your truck and not brushing or washing your truck for a couple of years, what the difference it makes. It's only when we have something like this big in the garage we kind of really realise that garage isn't all that big. Okay, so what I was saying earlier guys was, you can see, there's lovely, I won't say perfect paint, but a lot better than what's here. But this is where the sticker, the old company logos used to be and where we used to own this truck. And you can see this is where the rest of it is where they brush washed it. So all we're going to try and do is, because you can see, look, it's world and oxidized shiny paint. It's world and oxidized shiny paint. So guys, that's what happens when you brush wash, either use harsh chemicals in your truck, so these harsh TFRs are on the market at the moment, and the likes of brushes, doesn't matter what brushes, I don't care how much you pay for it or what brand it's called, brushes are going to cause damage like this. You can keep your truck like this, like this, using the right products, the right techniques and the right methods, or you can keep your truck like this by using harsh chemicals and brushes. It's up to you. So I'm above here in the office and working away on paperwork and um, editing a vlog and I was like, you're a I go nosing through Snapchat as you do and I um, happened to come across our company Snapchat as you all should know and you all should be on. Um, you'll find a link and stuff in our bios and you'll find a link on our Facebook page to our Snapchat. I'm trying to get that camera kind of focus. Anyway, so it's clicking through it anyway and I can hear them working away in the truck down below. But I haven't been downstairs since they started it, so I'm not sure how they're getting on with it. And that truck is bad. So clicking away, and this is what I find. So, click, click, click. That's yesterday, that's today, that's darn today. And my net reaction to the next clip actually shocked me. That's crazy. Anyway guys, if you want to stay, basically see stuff as it happens around here and you don't want to wait for the vlog to come out, best thing you can do is head over and add us on Snapchat and you'll see stuff literally as it's happening. I'm going to go downstairs and see how this truck really is turning out because that's the first clip I've seen of it, so I'm going to go down and check it out. Okay, so I'm going to try the same thing Darren tried on our Snapchat account. Is This is the way the truck came in. As you've seen already in the video, it is in fairly bad condition and this is where we're getting it to. This was never the plan for this truck. It was meant to just get it back shiny, but it is crazy the result we're getting with it. With it. Good old Manzorna doing its job, to be fair. The lads have tried a fair few different things. They've tried um, mixing both using 300 and 400 and 322 and all the rest of it. I think what they're coming up with is 400 is doing enough cut and adding enough shine, so it's a one-stop product. And uh, let's see how we get on with the rest of it. From this to this, to like virtually no shine here, a hell lot of shine here.
Right guys, it's really cold here today. And we finally got the truck finished. As you can see from the reflection behind me, of uh, the recovery truck, which is right there, there's some shine off this truck. And we finally got it back to where the customer wanted it, which was the glass that was back up to where it should be. And yeah, that's it. Anyway, another truck done by D&D Detailing. That is our third or fourth truck we've done now in the last couple of months. But yeah guys, stay tuned. I'm sorry I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to about this truck, but uh, it's just I was away in another event the weekend, um, and with the lads being under pressure and stuff like that, it just didn't get a chance to happen. So unfortunately we didn't get as much footage as I liked, would have liked to have got. But yeah, it is done. See so, ya yeah, guys, there we have it. And Darren's gonna say bye too. There you go. See you later guys.